Lindsay and welcome to I Explores. Today we're going to take a look at some of the locations where the theatres and picture houses was around Grimsby and Cleethorpes. Today I'm starting off in Cleethorpes and across the road is the Parkway Cinema so let's get started. Okay, the opening ceremony of the Parkway took place on November the 4th 2004, the load of VIPs obviously and it's first opened to the public on the 5th of November in the same year 2004. It's built in the Art Deco style, as you can see up there, with the uh, steel and glass design. Okay, so on our next location, the pier, which is also a theatre, probably a picture house. It's been many a things, Pier 39, and now it's obviously a fish and chip shop. It was built between 1872 and 1875 by the London and North Eastern Railway. Later was taken over by the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway which I've done a video on this in the past on my beach walk and there was a fire on here, it was a lot longer than this in 1903 it was never rebuilt but yeah that was a theatre too obviously a bit of seaside you get many a famous people on there in the past so let's go to the next one, the Empire and now we're at the Empire which was originally called Alexander Hall in 1896 and then it changed its name and became the Empire Theatre in 1913 and between that time it was a cinema 1913 to 1936 and it was also used during the Second World War for, uh, for soldiers to go in as a canteen Right, we're coming up to the Ritz this is on Grimsby Road as you can see it's completely gone, it's our McDonald's it was built by Taylor and Colbeck for the Union Cinemas Limited it was opened on July the 31st in 1937 it had a seating of 1450 with two levels all with brass staircases and I remember seeing them because I went in there to see um, convoy so later in its life it was it became the ABC in 1956 cheap seats also was a theatre listen to this the big names that went in there Peter Sellers Dickie Valentine Morecambe and Wise Frankie Vaughan Billy Fury Adam Faith, Cliff Richard and the Shadows, Alan Shapiro and Bruce Forsyth. That's just a few on this list I've got. Oh, and, it's, and in November 1959, singer Marty Wilde came here as well. Okay, so the last time it was used was September the 10th, 1982. And then, therefore, after it was demolished in 1993. It was a shame, it's a really big building, and I can see what's there. So let's go on to the next one. Okay, so we've come to Park Street, the site of the Strand, where this block of flats are now. It opened in 1912 as a large cinema, and it was built on the redundant Austrian tram de depot down the same street. And, then it be and it was um, also a an ice rink as well on this, this site. And I've seen a picture of it as a car park, which is a typical council, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> it had a professional orchestra to accompany the silent films over the day which was performed on a Thursday afternoon. The Strand then got bombed in 1943 and was never reopened. So now let's go on to the next location. Okay, so we're now at the, at the location of the Ox Oxford Picture Palace, which is around this area where I'm stood now. It opened on the 1st of May 1913 and was operated by T. Wiseman. By 1927, it had renamed the Oxford Picture House. I know it was listed as closed in 1933. Well, then reopened again on the 15th of June 1937 for Barbara Stanwyck in the Bride Walks Out. Very strange. It was the building was gutted by 1987 by a fire and was demolished in 1990. And now there's houses there, as you can see. So let's move on. Okay, so we're now on Umber Street. You see where that cow lot is there? That's where the little gem was. There's not a lot of information about it. And also down here was an hotel as well, Umber Street Hotel. It's now a sign shop and the pub as well. But this gem, I can't find any information on it. So anybody that does, does have any information on it, don't mind them putting them in the comments below. It'd be fantastic. So as you can see, it's a kept parking lot. But this is one of the earliest theatres, I believe. It was in Grimsby. So let's carry on. See across the road is the Caxton Theatre, which previously was called the Premier Cinema. And it, and it was opened in 1864 as a Methodist Chapel. Then the premises became a cinema but was destroyed by fire like most of them are which then was obviously closed in 1959 and is now the home of the Caxton Theatre. I've got a picture of this and it looks a lot different 
I can see some of the original stonework there in the middle where the wavy lines and the two pillars are either side but that's where it was at least it's still there it looks like it was rebuilt obviously after it was destroyed by fire so let's carry on so we're now at the tower on Kent Street the building is still there still there it originally opened as a playhouse and then was renamed a tower in the 1920s um, it opened on Saturday March the 23rd 1912 it was decorated in red and gold relief and I must have looked on site and it uh, held 470 people plus 30 standing room it closed in August on August 7th 1920 for st extensive uh, restructuring and alterations and widening of balconies and things of like that inside yet another victim of fire in 1965 and was closed for nearly three years and reopened in 1968 for eight years until it closed on December the 18th 1976 the burner subsequently used by air firms for cars there you go still standing let's go to the next one built on the site of the demolished Prince Wales Theatre the Regal then the ABC then it became the Odeon the Regal was built in 1936 and, and in 1937 Wilkson and Hughes of Sydney Street Cleaforts ABC had a building a luxury cinema and the doors opened on December the 4th 1937 and then it was closed in December 2004 which isn't that long ago I remember it been there but I've been here to see many a film Star Wars in there Superman but it's a really big theatre you know how much of it is left inside I don't know so let's go on to the next one the site of the Tivoli Theatre which was built in 1905 and it had a capacity of 2,000 that's pretty good for them days it's about to be 30 feet wide and 24 foot deep it is associated with associated British cinema or ABC chain which took over in 1936 it also had Western electric sound system and became the Tivoli cinema yeah, it then rose to a capacity of 1,217 but it's bombed yet again by the Luftwaffe on July the 12th 1943 it was never reopened and it was completely demolished in 1955 and what you see there now is what's been there since so it's an auction house so let's move on to the next one okay so we're now at the site of the Hippodrome on Railway Street obviously it's now a scrapyard now this place started life in 1897 as a st static circus and it was known as the Grand Circus which opened on Railway Street in 19 1895 it, it renamed the Hippodrome in 1899 casualty of fire yet again destroyed on August the 24th 1922 there's a lot of fires in these places and now it's a scrapyard what is it there must have been no health and safety back in the day but there we go so let's move on to one of the biggest or the two biggest theatres that was in Grimsby okay so we're now at the site where the first theatre was down here which is called the Theatre Royal on Victoria Street South and then later was occupied by the palace which we'll talk about in a bit it was built in 1865 and its doors closed on January the 30th 1904 okay so we're now stood where the globe was on Victoria Street South now it opened the 11th of October 1920 it's a neoclassical type looking building it says on there with a copula dome it seated 680 very small in them days it was just 10 years later its final silent film on May the 2nd 1930 and then it became obviously sound came in and opened as a cinema in 1952 the star cinema chain took it on it was then refurbished again in, on November the 17th 1952 and the Globe Theatre closed on April the 2nd 1960 which was then demolished as you can see it's not there now Okay, so now coming up to where the Palace Theatre was, which I said before was built on the site of where the Theatre Royal was. And it's opened its doors on the 10th of December 1904 as the theatre, a music hall. Now it's very big inside, it held 1,500, which is pretty big for a the theatre. This is where it was. If I show you this, let's see, that's where it is, look. There, on that picture there tells you all about it on there which I've just gonna always have just been reading you yeah? it was demolished in 1979 
and obviously the freighter closed in May 1955. Okay, so now at the site of the Paragon and Rex. Now I went in there one time skateboarding in the 70s, but okay, yeah. The Paragon Fair opened in October on October 3rd, 1912. Yeah, it was a um, Paragon Cinema like that opened then. And once again, what is it with these places? It was destroyed by fire on August 13th, 1936. Can you replaced by the Rex Cinema, which opened on the same site in June 1938? Strangest fires, aren't they? Anyway, 23 years later, closed its doors on the 19th of August 1961 to be converted into a Star Bingo Hall and also became a skateboarding park. Yeah, and it was demolished in 1996. So let's carry on to the next location. Okay, so we're on Cartergate now, the site of the, the Chantry. The old Chantry Cinema is known as. So it's opened its doors on November the 24th, 1920. And it was owned by the Eureka Picture Hall Limited Hull. Before it was to, oh hello. Before a small fire, yet again, forced to close it on February the 12th, 1957. This is mad, all these fires. God, I don't know. And it obviously became a carpet warehouse later on and and then obviously it was demolished. I can't remember when it was demolished. It didn't actually say on here. But if I find out, I'll put it on. But this is where it was, you can see. All along here was quite a nice shop. There's a model shop down here I used to go to as well. And a music shop, but now it's uh, all disappeared. They knocked it all down, look, built that. and Well, there you go. All right, let's carry on to the next one. So we're now at the Savoy Picture House on Victoria Street. Later called the Gormont. <laughs> okay, with this. This opened its doors on May the 24th, 1920, which is got on there anyway. And uh, obviously, it's, it's last, it closed as a cinema on Christmas Eve, 1977. It's now on McDonald's, if you can see that as well. Now, I don't see anything here about fires. Obviously not. But yeah, that was one of the, it's said to be one of the first luxury cinemas in Grimsby, which you can see on the statue on the top. And I've been in there, it's a massive place, beautiful building, but obviously, it's no longer there, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, so we're now at the site of the Lyric, which is just where these shops are here. Now, there's a Lyric Cafe there, that's the only part of it that is left. Now, this one opened in 1913, playing films, and no, it isn't fires this time, it got bombed in 1943. Obviously, it never reopened due to the bombs, so let's go on to the, last, the, the next one. Okay, so we're now at the site of the Gaiety, which it again has got houses built on it. This opened in 1912 in October down Wintrigan Road. Opened originally as a pavilion and advertised as Mecca Bingo in 1962. And it had a spell at Tiffany's nightclub and it was finally demolished in 1988. I actually went there. That's where it was up there. I remember looking at it, beautiful building it was. We went in from that side and along this road there and it was round about where them trees are and his houses are now. The Rialto, which was built in 1927 on Robert Street, where I'm stood now, it was behind them boards is where it was, known as the Bugut. It uh, became a bingo club in 1962 to 2000, when it was yet again destroyed by fires. Always the same with these fires. Okay, so we're now on Grant Street, site of the Theatre Royal. Now this was originally a wooden building, and it opened on May the 4th, 1912, and continued as a cinema until 1914, when obviously the war started. As you can see, it's completely burnt. It got burnt down in the 80s as well, the new building, because I remember going in there getting the snooker tables out and I went for uh, Turner and Eggman's. Uh, after that, it, be it was re obviously became a billet for the Manchester Regiment during the First World War. And it resumed as a cinema 10 months after, and then it was burned down on the 20 August 20th, 1919, and was rebuilt again and returned as a cinema in 1927. After 1939-45, the Royal staged an amateur stage show by the Silhouettes, the Grimsby Opera Company. So there you go. No longer there, so let's go and visit the next site. Okay, so you can see that white building there? That was the Queen's. Now originally, before it became fair to cinema and bingo hall, it was a timber factory. Later used as that for dancing and roller skating. Queen's Hall was opened on the 24th of March 1934. So you can see the entrance is still there. And what I read on here, it still exists. The long tunnel that was there, down to the actual auditorium itself. Okay, 
So the, uh, the cinema closed in the, on the 6th of October 1963. And actually there's an Elvis film going on there at the time, which is strange. It was converted into a bingo hall. The Crompton organ was removed, was removed from the building in 1972. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching this video. It's took me a long time to make this one. I hope you enjoyed it. There's more theatres than what I thought. I will put a count up on the end when I actually count them up myself. But I hope you enjoy it. And thanks again to all my subscribers and all the people that are watching my content. I really appreciate it. Please use the thumbs up and subscribe and everything else. And please use the comments. I'd be glad to know what I'd be like to know what you think of my uh, my video. So we'll see you next time on the next video. This has been theatres around Cleveland and Grimsby.